watch is now 632 and now that school has started parents might be asking a big question yeah. Is my child old enough to stay home, home alone after school? You may have heard of the term latchkey kids, kids who come home after school to an empty house. But how do parents know when their child is ready? WSBT 22's Kristen Bean is in the newsroom. Good morning, Kristen. Is there a law in Indiana that regulates this? Not in Indiana and actually not in Michigan either, although the Michigan Child Protection Law recommends no child under 10 be left alone. And since every parent is eager to ditch that daycare expense, we wanted to know how old is old enough? Madeline Wise is growing up. So I have to do the dishes, feed Rocky, sweep the kitchen, um, cat litter, laundry, and dust. The 10 year old is helping around the house and showing her mom she's ready for more responsibility. So this summer we started the conversation with my husband about. Um, when is the right time for her to stay home? And certainly, I think she's more ready um, to do it than, than we are. Hang up the towel so it dries out. Mary Lynn Wise is one of many parents with older children who wonder, what is the age when she no longer needs a babysitter? There's nothing that says, oh, you're 12, you can stay home alone, but you're 11, you can't. Yeah, Police say there are no legal restrictions in Indiana, but they do recommend that parents consider a child's age and maturity level before making a decision. That's because there are a long list of dangers they could face on their own. Maybe they come home from school, like maybe they are a latchkey kid, and they come home from school and the door is open. What do they do then? You know, they need to be have decision-making abilities to know well, if I come home and the door is open, I know to do this or that. So there needs to be protocols and rules established so the child will know what to do in a various amount of situations. Parenting instructors say kids under 10 aren't developmentally ready to deal with situations like that. So how do you know? While experts say your child should demonstrate the ability to do simple tasks, they should have decision-making skills, and the child should know and have practiced what to do in an emergency. One of the things that we can do uh, to determine child readiness to stay alone is to just ask them, how do you feel about staying alone? Is this something you would be comfortable with? Madeline Wise isn't shy about the topic. Oh, I'm really excited. And she has big plans, too. I just watch my iPad, <laughs> and if I get bored of that, I'll just watch TV. Her mom, on the other hand, says it will be a while before she gets that freedom. Don't get it! I I think it's really my hesitation as a parent. I think she's probably ready. And if your decision wasn't hard enough, here's something else to think about. Nearly 4.5 million children ages 14 and under are injured at home every year. And the vast majority of accidental injury related deaths occur in the evening when kids are out of school and unsupervised. The CAPS website, though, has some good research and resources for parents. Here are some questions they suggest you ask yourself and your children before you make this tough decision. First, is your child mature enough to be home alone? Is there a responsible adult nearby? Does your child know emergency procedures? Does your child perform everyday tasks like fixing a snack, dialing the phone? Do they regularly solve small problems? Are there siblings who will also be home? Is your child comfortable with the idea of staying home alone? You should probably ask. And experiment. If you believe the time is right, try leaving the child alone for short periods. We'll put helpful links on our website, WSBT.com. Just click on this story. Live here in the newsroom, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News. Kristen, thank